and fear of reprisal and state agencies. This was a promise made by both the President and I when we were sworn in. I want to call upon Ovazila's heads of security agencies not to be tempted to use a criminal justice system to manage politics. Let us manage politics the conventional way through reaching out, consensus and concurrence. I am informed that members of parliament who voted no have already been targeted by the National Intelligence Service for harassment for their political stand. This is a promise the president and I gave to the people of Kenya that never again shall we use the criminal justice system to manage politics. I want to say that the president and I gave a categorical promise to the people of Kenya that the issue of, of abductions and extrajudicial killings will never happen again. Sadly, this is back. It is unbelievable that the son of the Honorable Attorney General of Kenya, Justin Bidan Muturi, was abducted at night in a commando style by officers of the National Intelligence Service and held in communicado for 18 hours. Yet, that is the Honorable Attorney General of the Republic of Kenya. What will happen to other Kenyans? I want to ask our law enforcement agencies to dignify the President and I before the people of Kenya and not backtrack on the promises we made to the people of Kenya that we shall never again use the criminal justice system to manage politics. Yesterday, Nurdin Haji was trying to put up a team together to craft lies and propaganda and attribute the chaos that were in the country to leaders, I included, former President Uhuru Kenyatta and others. Yet it is very clear, and the President has admitted, that these protests were caused by the anger of the people of Kenya and the refusal of Finance Bill 2024. I want to call on the National Intelligence Service not to take us back to the dark old days of the Nyayo era, where you create propaganda and schemes to undermine leaders and those you don't agree with. I want to say in conclusion, <clears throat> this is a time for reflection and action. And we need to take immediate steps, as the President has guided, and I'm very happy, to engage the Generation Z. And I want to call that generation to tell us whom to engage because they are leaderless, they are tribeless, they have no organizational structure, but we would like to engage the right people. There could be a, a temptation among some young people around us in government to pick some friends of theirs and attempt to bring them for discussion. So I want to challenge our young people and salute them for their courage and conviction and the love for their motherland to come up with a structure on how they can engage government in accordance with what President William Ruto has guided this afternoon. In view of the very wise decision by the President, in conformity with the wishes of the Kenyan people, to withdraw Finance Bill 2024 that was in contention, as Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya and a patriotic son of this country, I want to appeal to Generation Z to call off the protests for tomorrow because their cry has been heard by the President. The President has accepted that there was an issue, there was a disconnect, and the President has done the right thing. And I think it's only fair that we call off the protest so that we don't have further loss of lives and destruction of property. It's an appeal that I have made as a father, as a parent, to our young children we love you, we respect you. Please, I beseech you as your father, now that the president has given in and accepted to go with the wishes of the Kenyan people, please, my sons and daughters, I plead with you to save lives, to save bloodshed, to save loss of property and lives. My sons, my daughters, please make an announcement this evening and call off the protest. And then we can begin the process 
of truthful engagement with the Kenyan people. We can begin an honest conversation on how to work on our country. Finally, I want to ask the President and our government to consider a plan on how to help those families that lost their livelihoods as a result of lack of proper advice by the National Intelligence Service. All these things happened because of government failure. It should never happen. Let us see how to compensate those families, those who are dead. We help those who are in hospital with bills, and we help to bury them. Again, I want to ask Kenyans not to punish members of parliament for the stand that they took. A government is formed by a political party. Once a government has a program in parliament and decides it is good for the people,